Hi everyone, I am Katrina Pavlek. This is joint work with Helter Lipma. We are from Simula UIP, Norway. This talk will be recorded for the Asia Clip 2020. In this talk, I will describe our brand new succinct functional commitment scheme for a large, large class of arithmetic circuits. A commitment scheme is an interactive protocol between two parties the committer holding a message and the verifier which allows one to commit to a chosen value while keeping it hidden to others, with the ability to reveal the committed value later. The scheme consists of four algorithms. At the beginning, the commitment key generation algorithm is run to produce a commitment key and a trapdoor key. The commitment algorithm commits to message M, getting commitment and the commitment values, and sends to the verifier the commitment value. The opening algorithm computers an opening to message which sends to the verifier. The verification algorithm checks whether the commitment really is to the message that the sender claims to be and either accepts or rejects. The commitment schemes come with two security properties, hiding and binding. Hiding defends against the malicious verifier, guaranteeing he does not gain any information about the message of the honest committer. Binding protects against the malicious committer, who cannot change the value or statement after he has, after he has committed to it. In other words, a possibly malicious committer cannot find matching openings for different messages M0 and 1 for a given commitment to verify without knowing trapdoor. In recent years, several generalizations of commitment schemes were introduced. In 2013, Catalano and Fiore put forth the notion of vector commitment, which allows committer to commit to a vector of messages such that it can later open the commitment at any position of vector. <coughs> a corresponding modification of binding for such commitment is called position binding. In a polynomial commitment scheme, the committer commits to a polynomial. Later, after getting an evaluation point, he opens the commitment to the evaluation of the polynomial in that point. A polynomial commitment scheme is evaluation binding. If it is hard to open the same commitment to, do dif to two different evaluations of the same, same polynomial. And the latest generalization by Liebert et al. formalizes the notion of function commitment, which allows committing to vectors of messages which can later be opened to specific functional evaluation. Liebert proposed a construction for linear maps based on Diffie Hellman assumption, exponent assumption, or pairing groups. Succinct polynomial and vector commitment schemes have recently become very popular since they can be used to construct SNARKs. Uh, there is a large gap between functional classes for which a succinct functional commitment scheme is known and the class of all efficiently verifiable functions. So we put a goal to fill the gap. We construct a succinct functional commitment scheme for a large class of circuits under a falsifiable assumption. And the words succinct and falsifiable are here keywords. It is straightforward to construct a succinct functional commitment scheme for all poly size circuits under non falsifiable assumption. For that, uh, one just use SNARKs as a black box. And since one can construct not succinct NISC from falsifiable assumption for an B-class, one can construct a non-succinct functional commitment scheme from a non-succinct NISC. Pitansky pursued this approach, proposing a non-succinct functional commitment scheme for all circuits that uses NISC as a black box. However, while non-falsifiable assumptions are required to construct SNARKs, we hope to construct succinct function commitment scheme under weaker assumption. Thus, just using SNARK as a black box is not a satisfactory solution. Altogether, constructing succinct function commitment scheme 
is a much harder task than constructing non succinct functional commitment scheme. Uh, thus, our goal is to design a succinct functional commitment scheme for a wide variety of functionalities under nice falsifiable assumption in groups with a linear map. Let D be a domain and CC be a class of circuits and let we have a circuit from this class that uh, computes some vector function of two inputs alpha and beta. A functional commitment scheme for circuit class CC enables for any circuit from this class the committer to first commit a vector alpha and later open the commitment to the output value of the circuit xi where the verifier chooses vector beta at the time of opening. This definition generalizes the notion of functional commitment as defined in Liebert from inner products to arbitrary circuits. A functional commitment scheme for inner products just assumes that circuit computes the inner product of vectors alpha and beta. Our functional commitment scheme satisfies three definitions of the hiding property for functional commitment schemes of increasing strength. The first definition corresponds to the definition of hiding given by Liebert and essentially states that commitments do not reveal any information on alpha. The open hiding property is considerably stronger stating that the commitment and the opening together do not reveal more information on the vector alpha than the values of circuit on quiet values beta. And finally, zero-knowledge <coughs> functional commitment schemes have hiding in the sense of simulatability, uh, which makes sense only in the CRS model. Our scheme is evaluation binding, but allows the committer to open to two different uh, openings, uh, to two different vectors, as long as the value of function is the same. And our commitment scheme is succinct, that is, both the commitment and opening have length that is polylogarithmic in size of the vectors alpha and beta. Our scheme is inspired with SNARKs. SNARK is a short NISC argument system which guarantees honesty, privacy or soundness, and zero knowledge. We use the gross efficient SNARK for arithmetic circuit satisfiability, namely its improved version by, Lif by LITMA. Here is a high level overview of our technical contribution. The construction of the new functional commitment scheme consists of the following steps. At the beginning, we compile the original circuit, computing the fix fixed function, to a circuit consisting of four public subcircuits. We need such division to prove evaluation binding under falsifiable assumption. Then we represent the compiled circuit in the QAP language which SNARKs usually use. And finally, we construct succinct functional commitment scheme for the QAP representation by using SNARK techniques in a non-black box way. So how do we use SNARK if not as a black box? Though SNARK and functional commitment schemes have some similarities, they have drastically different objectives. Some conceptual differences between objectives are gathered in the next table. We have different security properties to achieve. In case of SNARKs, uh, prover has full access to input. In case of functional commitment, it gradually gets it and later constructs the argument based on the full info. For SNARKs, argument consists of a single bit string. For functional commitments, we have division due to careful separation of public and private inputs. Circuit compilation. Let we have a polynomial size arithmetic circuit such that on an input alpha and beta computes xi a value of some function. We modify the original circuit to a compiled circuit that consists of four public subcircuits uh, phi, xi, psi, and he. 
of the picture to the right, the red circle applies to private input only, the green circuit to public input, and they are unrestricted. The circuit high combines outputs of previous two circuits and has a restriction. For security reason, this subcircuit high is restricted to have multiplicative depth 1. Uh, that is, it intuitively it sums up products of polynomials of alpha with polynomials of beta, and it guarantees that in a collision the two accepted openings have a nice linear relation that doesn't depend on secret data alpha. The later makes it possible for the reduction to break the, break the underlying assumption. Thus, we cannot handle all circuits due to the re reduction of evaluation binding to a falsifiable assumption. This compilation we use reduces the circuit class we can handle. In summary, our new succinct functional commitments scheme will work for all circuit circuits that have a polynomial size compiled circuit such that that concrete subcircuit he has multiplicative depth 1. We study the class of compilable according to the given definition arithmetic circuits by employing tools from algebraic complexity theory. What we get, the resulting class is wider than a class of sparse polynomial, polynomials but smaller than the class of polydegree polynomials that have polysized circuits. Uh, a circuit evaluation can be verified by verifying the next matrix equation where matrices U, V and W define the circuit uniquely and reflect all the circuit constraints. Here A, uh, A is a witness consisting of values of all the wires of the compiled circuit. We verify the main matrix equation by constructing matrices u phi, u psi, u he, and u xi, and correspondingly matrices for v and w, and uh, <clears throat> check that the various subcircuits of the compiled circuit are correctly computed. That is, we are checking the next four equations. In our security theorem, we will need several conditions for the compiled circuit to hold, and those conditions dictate the shape of the matrices U, V, and W. We have a theorem where we list all those conditions and prove they hold for the compiled circuit. Required conditions shortly. There should be a lot of zeros in these matrices. Some of those pink entries are responsible for the evaluation binding proof success and other for the security of the underlying assumption. Intuitively, we start constructing a snark for the compiled circuit by following the approach of Gross. However, we modify this approach whenever it suits our goals. In Gross 2016 SNARK, first the CRS is constructed, is generated, and the, then uh, prover gets <coughs> in, as an input alpha and beta and creates a proof uh, of, of three group elements, which sends to verifier. Verifier then recomputes a part of the group element C using public data and verifies the argument given the computed C. Uh, P stands here for public and S for private. We remark that the new succinct functional commitment scheme inherits the efficiency of gross snark. We use somewhat similar flow of protocol but with several rounds. In our succinct functional commitment scheme, committer's input consists of two parts private and public. At the beginning, committer knows only alpha and computes parts of elements A and B capital that can be computed from alpha only. Later, eventually, verifier decides on beta value and sends this to prover. 
Groover computes opening, sends it to verifier. Verifier recomputes now all the three elements A, B and C capital using parts of A, B, C and runs snark verifier on the reconstructed proof. Our main result is the construction of succinct functional commit machine and its security proof. While the correctness and hiding proofs are straightforward, evolution binding is far from it. In the main theorem, for a fixed circuit, we reduce evolution binding of functional commitment scheme to a new span filter assumption in a source group. The full evolution binding proof is quite tricky. Interested reader can check the paper. Uh, intuition, is, but intuition is as follows. So, given a collision, collision, two verification equations, we almost compute the assumption challenge. Subtracting them, we have data only in one side of pairing, and this enables for us to get reduction to the underlying assumption. To eliminate this almost, we need also some auxiliary elements to be output but by commuter. And we use the specific structure of matrices U, V, and uh, W, which we discussed it earlier. Many of the winner group assumptions have been gathered under the umbrella of the Uber assumptions. Well known class of Uber assumptions are Q type assumptions. The new span Uber assumption states that it is difficult to output an element sum together with the coefficient vector delta where fi are not in the span of the set R. Here, delta is a vector of component-wise differences between two climate values of function f. Importantly, if the circuit of a circuit has one output, then the span Uber assumption is equivalent to the Uber assumption. The span Uber assumption is falsifiable and thus significantly more realistic than non-falsifiable assumption needed to prove the soundness of SNARKs. Still, it is a new assumption, and thus we have written down three different proofs that it follows from already known assumptions. First, we prove that the span Uber assumption in a, a source group holds under the known Uber assumption in the target group. Here, fi are different but related f r prime are different but but related functions. Thus, we have an instantiation of the computational over assumption known to be secure in the generic group model. Since the generic group model is very restrictive and has no weakness, not shared by well-chosen knowledge assumptions, we prove that the computational span over assumption holds under. <coughs> a hash algebraic knowledge assumption and a PDL assumption. And uh, also, we use a deja vu approach to prove that the span over assumption in source group is secure under subgroup hiding assumption. To demonstrate the usefulness of our functional commitment scheme, we give several applications. Some of them are well known and some are new. We show how to use our functional commitment to construct sub-vector commitments and multi multivariate polynomial commitments. In addition, we outline a few seemingly new applications like the aggregated inner product, aggregated polynomial product, and uh, 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 aggregated polynomial commitment and evaluation point commitment schemes. Importantly, all described commitment schemes are succinct. The new succinct functional commitment scheme achieves easy aggregation in a more general sense. Uh, let is i be some circuit for which exists an efficient succinct functional commitment scheme. Then we can construct an efficient aggregation for the circuit that consists of sequential composition of SIs. Uh, some of the referred papers uh, construct aggregated commitment schemes only for a concrete circuit, and our scheme allows to aggregate different succinct functional commitment schemes. To sum up, we constructed a 
SNARC-based succinct functional commitment scheme for a large class of arithmetic circuits, proved it evaluation binding under a new falsifiable span assumption and provided justification for the assumption. Open questions we are working at. Is there an efficient compilation to a circuit? For which class of circuits the compiled circuit will be always polysized? Is it possible to extend our constructions to all polysized arithmetic circuits? And is it possible to construct a succinct functional commitment scheme based on a static security assumption in prime order groups? Thank you for listening.